Hello friends, how are you all? I hope everything is good. Right, before we actually start our session, let me introduce myself. My name is Ramesh Kupchindani and I've been associated with Devasya for the last four years. I'm the coordinator of commerce section in Devasya for English medium. And um, before actually we start our session today, uh, what I plan to do is, as some of you are aware with Devas uh, uh, being old students, but many of you may not be aware of Devas International Public School. So what I plan is I actually need to give you a brief introduction of our Devas uh, International Public School, right? So before on that, actually, let me just help you share the screen with you. I will share a screen with you so that we can start. Uh, just give me a minute. Here, now I believe you are able to see the screen. Okay. Right. So I welcome you all on behalf of Devas here. And actually I welcome you to Devas's group of commerce. In commerce section, we have both English medium and Gujarati medium. Uh, let's move ahead. As you might already be aware that our managing trustee and founder, Mr. Sri Goganbhai Sagar, he is a specialist in chemistry and he is the face of Devasya who has been taking care of Devasya for, since the beginning. And Sri Vikrambhai Patel, who is our honorary chairman of Devasya International Public School. So these are the top class handlers of management for Devasya International Public School. And moving on that, I will brief you on the hierarchy of management here as well. The topmost layer, as you understood, is for trustees. And then thereby there is another layer of principal. In our commerce section, the principal ma'am is Vandana, Ms. Vandana Patel. And she is actually the principal for both science and commerce English medium. So Ms. Vandana Patel is the principal for commerce section. Then the coordinator, which is your truly Ramesh Kupchindani, I'm the coordinator. Then we have class teachers for 11th, they'll be different and for 12th, they'll be different. Uh, since uh, because of Corona, we are not opening the physical school right now. We will conduct online sessions. So class teacher, uh, it could be uh, any one of us, our faculty, I will brief you on faculties as well. After class teacher, there are subject and discipline teachers in the section. Then there comes you as in the students. So for any issues, anything you have, any concerns you have, you can easily contact first your subject teachers for subject related things. And you can also contact me as a coordinator of your section. And for, after that, you can also contact principal for some issues which I am not able to handle. Then last comes the trustees. So that is the hierarchy of management you should follow, right? The purpose behind this, I mean, actually, uh, let me also brief you. Uh, you might already be have met our subject teachers. So I will just give you the names of them. Uh, our main subject accounts is being handled by Mr. Manish Patel and uh, statistics is being handled by Dayamam. And then there is economics and uh, economics for economics. We have Bridges, sir, Bridges Dave. And for BA or business administration, we have Gaurav, uh, Ganik, sir, right? English will be taken care by me. And for Hindi, we have our beloved Sapna ma'am. Computers, we uh, have still a little issues on faculty. So later on when the computer session starts, I will introduce you the faculty as well. The main purpose of uh, briefing you on uh, this hierarchy is to tell you the purpose of education is not only teaching, but a mission to explore hidden qualities and give them shape with trust and care. That is the motto of Devasya we follow. At Devasya, the faculty, the management, the trustee, everyone will be taking care of you as our own child. एक छोटी सी कविता यहाँ पे लिखी हुई है जो स्वप्न सजे व्याकुल नयनों में देना है उनको आकार स्नेह विश्वास मर्यादा के संग हो सिंचित अनुपम संस्कार रह न जाए बिना टटोले उत्तम प्रतिभा और विचार श्रेष्ठ मार्गदर्शन के संग से लक्ष्य और ख्याति मिले अपार 
in short again i will tell you our main goal is to prepare students like you for career success and life ahead afterwards so there now if i just go on to the screen again just one minute let me um see that was the introduction of the university you got the management the faculty and the concerns as we are not conducting physical classes so most of them may not be coming in touch with you directly and it's only online classes so subject teachers will be giving you video lectures thereby you would have the whatsapp group and the contact numbers of subject teachers plus principal ma'am and i coordinator also also the part of the sub whatsapp group so you can contact us for any issues going ahead now let's start our first session today in english and i believe english is one of the most dominating languages in the world because if you see english is a language of everything around you in other words if i can say aaj agar sabse powerful language duniya mein koi hai to wo english hai i think you would also agree with that i will show you one slide which i have made on the same just one minute okay as i said english is the most powerful language right now if you see english is the language of communication it is the language of business jobs education social media society technology internet internet media entertainment society everywhere for students parents teacher jobbers job seekers business people everywhere english is a must right it's um, it does not mean that you not need to take care of other subjects other subjects are very much important accounts it is statistics are the basis of your commerce economics is the basis of economy the whole nation the politics the business commerce section all depends on economics and how to conduct all that you need to know the principles of business and administration so ba is also very important your first language being in english medium your first language is english so all the sessions all the videos lectures and maybe later on the physical session will also be conducted in english language so english is definitely important and hindi you will get as a secondary language plus computers as an another subject for seventh commerce right so let's see now i will again stop the screen share now on the uh, part of english what i plan to do is i need to give you what all we will be covering in english so i made another um, excel sheet where you can see the complete syllabus what all is covered in english language or english subject as such for 11th standard i hope you are able to see the screen the syllabus for 11th standard english is first we will talk about the grammar the grammar covers seven different parts you can say seven different things uh, points or sub topics first of all we will need to brush up on couple of basic con fundamentals which you have learned through in your previous classes so going ahead in my next sessions you will get through these grammar sessions first of all we will touch up on parts of speech i hope you remember the parts of speech like noun pronoun adjective verb adverb right you remember that so all those parts of speech we'll just have a quick look on those when we start the grammar section and then we can move on to the next topic of grammar that is sentence structure how the sentences are formed in english language i will again brief you on that as you have already clear 10th classes till now so i'm sure for last 8 to 10 years you have been dealing with english language as such but again i will need to correctify if there are any mistakes for making sentences so that you can move on ahead confidently right after sentence structure we will also go through the basics of tenses which you i'm sure which i'm sure most of you know what tenses are about but for tenses we will again brush up the things and know some important things which might not be there in your knowledge previously next we will cover the types of sentences this is a crucial topic because there are many uh, there can be many types 
like affirmative, negative, interrogative, declarative, exclamatory, imperative. Then there are another classification like uh, simple compound complex. Then there are another classification could be like noun based, adverb based, subject, verb, object. What are all those things? You will get to know everything in types of sentences when we later on deal with this topic, right? After this, we will also cover the three new dimensions of forming different sentences. One is active voice and passive voice. Example for that could be, for example, I'm writing a letter is active voice, but a letter is being written by me. That is passive voice. So how that change happens is active voice, passive voice, which again is some topic which you have learned in eight, nine, tenth class or previously, but we will touch up on that to improve your quality. And then there is another section called direct indirect speeches. Someone said something and if you need to if you need to report it to some third person, then you need to use it in indirect speech. So one person saying something to second person is direct speech. Direct dialogue. But agar usi koi, koi dusra, ko batata hai, to indirect speech. Hota hai. Like reporting. The reporters do in TV, you see news, etc. Right? So there indirect speeches. Then there comes the main chunk of your grammar portion that is transformation of sentences. It is a large uh, topic where we have different varieties like affirmative to negative or maybe simple to compound, then remove to, use to. There can be different many varieties. Also active voice, passive voice and direct indirect, all those are also included in transformation of sentences. So that will be the grammar section for the whole year you will be dealing with. Uh, how to move ahead with those topics, we will have plans uh, later on when we, when I keep giving you different session one by one, you will have the more idea about it. Then there comes the next section of creative writing. Under creative writing, again, we have many different topics. The first of important of all that is passage comprehension. Where you get where you get a uh, sentence or maybe a couple of sentences in the form of passage, you read that and then you answer some questions based on that. You are already aware of that thing in 10th class, 9th class, you have done that, right? Then poetry comprehension. This will be given an extract from a poetry or poem. It can be seen, it can be unseen. We will try practicing all of them, right? Then again, there will be questions based on that poetry section or verses, right? So that is one. Then we have summary or paraphrase writing. Summary can be for prose section or passage. When you're given a prose or passage, then you need to summarize that in your own words. Then if it is a poetry, then you need to paraphrase that and give the meaning of poetry and explain what the poet means, right? So summary and paraphrase writing will be a section of Gaskar. Then we will move on ahead to the next one, the report writing or article writing. Some of you might be aware with that. Some of you might not be. Again, you don't need to worry. I will start that again from scratch. How to write a report, how to write an article, what is the difference between report and article. I will explain everything to you. Then this is another uh, familiar section, how to write an email or how to write a letter. Then again, there can be uh, bifurcations like formal letter, informal letter, formal email, informal email. Then you have application writing. Application can be a job application or application for admission or vacancy. Then there is another new section. You might not be aware of this. This is advertisement writing. The advertisement which you see in newspapers, magazines, etc. There is another question which you can expect in board exam 12th as well as in 11th. We have that for advertisement writing. How to do that? I will explain everything later on when we start with that topic. Last but not the least, very important one is this essay writing or in option we have speech writing or sometimes it can be story writing. You're all aware of that. But again, we will deal with those topics later on detail, right? Now, the important one again, literature part of your English subject. We have two books here. Uh, one book, the primary book, main book, which is called is Hornbill. And in under Hornbill, you have eight proses and five poems. Again, let me just share that screen with you. Then you will have this just a minute. This is the cover page of Hornbill for class 11th. 
uh, some of you might have to have got the physical book. Very good. Otherwise, I have an e uh, book available with me, which I will send in the group so you can access that for the time being. Right. This is the uh, first page, and then we will just have a look at the proses and poems included in that. See, for reading skills, there are eight proses, as I said, the portrait of Lady by Kushwan Singh. We are not afraid to die if we can be all together by Gordon Cook. Then discovering toot. So these are the names of different chapters. And also given here is like a photograph, Shirley Tilson, that's a poem. Then in second chapter, you don't have a poem. Third chapter, you have the Labanum top, Ted Hughes. So this way you will have total eight proses plus five poems. In the same book, you will also find some important guidance for writing skills. Some of the things which we talked about, like summarizing, paraphrasing, subtitling, essay writing, letter writing, creative writing, note making, etc. Right. So we can have some help from there as well. Now let's come to the second book. The second book which we have in English is Snapshot. If you see a uh, snapshot will be your supplementary reading. There are eight chapters or eight readings again. In these eight chapters, let me just share that screen with you for snapshot as well. Just a minute. Okay, so. You guys can see the screen, right? So here we have snapshots. This is a supplementary reading. Under uh, this supplementary reading, again, you will have um, eight chapters, as I said. Let's have a look at those eight chapters here. The Summer of the Beautiful White Horse, William Sarwen is the writer. That's the first chapter we have. Then the, uh, the address, Ranga's marriage, Albert Einstein at school. This is, these are the eight chapters, the tale of Melon City. There is no poem in this. These are supplementary readings, long type of stories, which will have some questions based on that. Now, this was your syllabus. Let me explain it to you then how you can expect the paper in English subject. Let's see how the papers are divided. Let's see, I have made that one format here. I'll just let me just share that screen with you. So this is a kind of expected paper style for 11th, which I had used in last year. I mean, last not last year, uh, this last of last year. This last year, there was no annual exam because of Corona, right? So annual examination paper style would be like this. It will be of total of 80 marks and it will be uh, giving for three hours time duration. So 80 marks will be actually divided in five different section. If you see section A, section B, section C, section D and section E. I have made this paper style completely uh, coordinating with the Gujarat board of uh, education uh, kind of rules and regulations. There was one paper format given for 11 style based on what you can expect in 12th also. So 12th board ke base pe jo tayari karne ke liye 11th ka paper style ban sakta hai, waisa hi paper style banaya hai. Again, five sections will be there, each section containing of 16 marks. In first section A, you will have questions based on prose section. As I said, Horn Bell mein art chapters ya, art proses hai. On art ke base pe aapke teen different type ke questions aayenge, jo ki rahenge like to read the passage. Once you read the passage, then you need to answer the questions. Uh, questions can be in MCQ formats, but there are only four MCQs or four questions available, each containing one mark. So char questions, char, ek ek mark ke, char marks. Then we will have fill in the blanks. Again, this will be based on prose section. Ek kisi bhi chapter ka extract aega, us pe fill in the blanks honge. Options diye hote hain, but there will be three uh, fill in the blanks maybe, or maybe six fill in the blanks. Ek mark ka ya aade mark ka. Total marks iske teen hi rahenge. Then you will have the actual question answers, the textual question answer, jo eight chapters aapne padhe honge hon bil ke, final exam mein on sab mein se kisi mein bhi teen question hi aayenge. Only three questions. Kisi bhi teen chapter mein saa sate hai. Aos mein choice kabhi milti hai, kabhi nahi milti hai. Right? So we will have a um, detail on that when we come to the exam sections later on. 
किस तरह के क्वेश्चन होते हैं वेन वी डील विद चैप्टर्स अगेन यू विल सी हाउ हाउ मेनी टाइप्स ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर देयर एंड वॉट कैन यू आंसर हाउ कैन यू आंसर इन दैट This was the prose section, section A. Let's come to the section B, poem and supplementary. Again, ये भी 16 marks का रहेगा. पहला question इसमें जो रहेगा, it will be based on a kind of words. वहाँ पे छोटा सा extract poem का दिया होगा. You read that and then you answer the questions based on that. There will be three questions of one mark each. दो तीन marks इसके रहेंगे total. Then poetry के question answers जो hornbill में आपकी पांच poems हैं, उनमें से कोई से भी दो के ऊपर क्वेश्चन आएंगे दो ही क्वेश्चन आएंगे दो दो मार्क्स के टोटल चार मार्क्स होंगे इसमें भी अगेन चॉइस मिल सकती है तो तीन क्वेश्चन में से दो करना या चार में से दो करना ऐसा हो सकता है सप्लीमेंट्री नाउ एट चैप्टर्स जो सप्लीमेंट्री रीडिंग की यानी कि स्नैपशॉट्स के हैं उसके ऊपर सिर्फ तीन क्वेश्चन आएंगे तीन क्वेश्चन तीन तीन मार्क्स के टोटल नौ मार्क्स हुए इसमें अगेन इसमें भी थोड़ी चॉइस मिल सकती है चार में से तीन या पांच में से तीन करना उस तरीके से राइट दिस इज द टोटल लिटरेचर सेक्शन ऑफ अराउंड 40% 40% ऐसे मिल 32 टोटल आउट ऑफ 80 मार्क्स सो 40% का आपका लिटरेचर सेक्शन होता है प्रोज पोएम एंड सप्लीमेंट्री मिला के देन तीसरा सेक्शन होता है आपका ग्रामर का वो 16 मार्क्स का रहता है इसमें दो ही टाइप के क्वेश्चन आएंगे एक होगा एरर करेक्शन अब ये एरर करेक्शन क्या होता है आपने टेंथ में देखा होगा एक सेंटेंस दिया होगा उसके ऊपर एरर और करेक्शन दो कॉलम बने हुए होंगे तो आपको एक वर्ड फाइंड करना होता है एरर वाला और उसको करेक्ट बना के राइट आंसर लिखना होता है राइट राइट वाला सो दैट इज एरर करेक्शन इट कैन बी एन एरर ऑफ टेंसेस वर्ब्स एडजेक्टिव नाउन एक्सेट्रा एनीथिंग सो आपने जितना भी ग्रामर पढ़ा होगा वो सब आपको हेल्प करेगा एरर फाइंड आउट करने में देन गिव द करेक्ट वर्ड सो दैट इज एरर करेक्शन उसमें छह मार्क्स का एरर करेक्शन रहेगा देन यू हैव ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेस दस क्वेश्चन वन वन मार्क के ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन ऑफ सेंटेंसेस जैसे मैंने बताया सब कुछ आ सकता है उसमें एक्टिव आ सकता है पैसिव आ सकता है डायरेक्ट इनडायरेक्ट आ सकता है उसके अंदर अफर्मेटिव नेगेटिव आ सकते हैं उसके अंदर में एडजेक्टिव रिमूव करना कंजेंशन लगाना ज्वाइन करना सब तरीके के ट्रांसफॉर्मेशन आ सकते हैं राइट This is grammar section, 16 marks. Very easy but very tricky. But इसको करने के लिए हम जब grammar के brush up करेंगे सारे topics, you will be more confident to handle this easily, right? Section D जो होता है comprehension based रहता है. इसके अंदर में आपको तीन type के question मिलते हैं. Again, first is the unseen passage. Remember section A में जो था passage वो सीन पैसेज था लिटरेचर बुक में से यहाँ जो पैसेज आएगा वो कहीं से भी आ सकता है अनसीन होगा इसके ऊपर पांच क्वेश्चन होंगे वन मार्क के पांच मार्क्स का टोटल देन पोएट्री बेस्ड क्वेश्चंस भी आएंगे उसके अंदर में भी पांच क्वेश्चन होंगे वन वन मार्क के सो यू विल हैव पोएट्री बेस्ड पोएट्री बेस्ड में कभी कभी पैराफ्रेज भी आ सकता है पांच मार्क्स का पूरा सो वी विल हैव दैट प्रैक्टिस एज वेल देन देर इज अनदर क्वेश्चन कॉल्ड रिपोर्ट राइटिंग और ईमेल राइटिंग और एडवर्टीजमेंट राइटिंग आई हैव गिवन अ चॉइस हियर इट कैन बी एनी ऑफ देम वी विल गो थ्रू ईच वन ऑफ देम देन फर्स्ट एग्जाम में हम हो सकता है रिपोर्ट ले लें सेकंड एग्जाम में एडवर्टीजमेंट ले लें और फाइनल एग्जाम से पहले ईमेल कर लेते हमें तीनों में से चॉइस करना आ जाएगा राइट सो देर विल बी ऑफ सिक्स मार्क्स टोटल सिक्सटीन मार्क्स ऑफ कॉम्प्रीहेंशन Then there is uh, the last section, composition section, जिसमें आपको अपने हिसाब से ही लिखना पड़ता है इसमें एक compulsory question ट्वेल्थ में आता है जो मैंने उसी को compulsory रखा है annual exam के लिए First exam, second exam, it can be different one, but annual exam के pattern में application आता ही आता है Job application with a CV. अभी CV क्या होता है CV is like curriculum विषय It's a French word for बायो डेटा और रेज्यूमे जो आप बायोडाटा देते हो एप्लीकेशन के लिए जॉब एप्लीकेशन के लिए उसको सीवी बोलते हैं तो सीवी इज अ शॉर्ट फॉर्म वो देना होता है उसके साथ में एक एप्लीकेशन होती है जॉब के लिए किस तरीके से करते हैं क्या करते हैं वो हम बाद में सीखेंगे राइट देन द लास्ट सेक्शन इज एसे राइटिंग और उसकी ऑप्शन में स्टोरी राइटिंग या स्पीच राइटिंग हम इलेवेंथ में स्टोरी राइटिंग ले सकते हैं बाकी ट्वेल्थ में तो स्पीच राइटिंग आता ही है ठीक है एप्लीकेशन सी आपका सेवन मार्क्स का रहेगा एंड ऐसे राइटिंग आपका नाइन मार्क्स रहेगा सो दिस सेक्शन विल बी अगेन ऑफ सिक्सटीन मार्क्स सो टोटल एटीन मार्क्स का जो तीन आर्स का तीन घंटे का पेपर आपका रहेगा उसमें पांच सेक्शन होंगे ईच सेक्शन कंटेनिंग सिक्सटीन मार्क्स इस तरीके से उनका ब्रेकअप रहेगा राइट आफ्टर द सेशन आई विल ऑल्सो सेंड यू दिस पी डी एफ सो दैट यू कैन हैव दिस हैंडी फॉर फॉर्मेट एंड ऑल्सो द सिलेबस एंड द बुक्स द ई बुक्स आई विल ऑल्सो सेंड यू Right now, just give me a minute. Right, 
Okay, guys. So that was uh, what I wanted to cover with our first session. I do not want to download more of information in your mind right now. Abhi abhi ap pehla session ni attend kar rahe ho. To pehle session mein aapne aaj kya dekha? Devas se se aapne introduce kiya aapne aapko ya Devas se kya hai? Uske baare mein jana. Then commerce section mein coordinator jaise or teachers wagera kon kon hai unko jana aapne. Plus then you can talk about maybe. Uh, इंग्लिश के अंदर में क्या सिलेबस था हमने उसके बारे में डिस्कस किया तो जो सिलेबस पे है पूरे साल का जो आप पढ़ोगे वो हमने ब्रीफली आपको डिस्क्राइब किया जो दोनों मेन बुक्स हैं उनकी ई बुक में आपको भेजूंगा तो आपको पता पड़ेगा उनका किस तरीके से टेक्सचुअल चलता है किस तरीके से क्वेश्चन आंसर आते हैं किस तरीके की स्टोरीज पोएम्स वगैरह आती है वन बाय वन इन Every session we will cover all those topics, like grammar ka ho, chai creative skills ka ho, literature ka ho. Sab ham one by one chalte jayenge. Everything is planned. You don't need to worry about anything. Aaj ke session mein mera purpose yeh tha ki aapko English subject pura saman mein aaja kis tarikhe se hai aur kis tarikhe se plan hota hai. Then also you saw the paper pattern, jo you can up. एनुअल एग्जाम में एक्सपेक्ट करोगे 80 मार्क्स का रहता है तो किस तरीके से टोटल इंपॉर्टेंस सिलेबस की है वो भी आप समझ जाओगे राइट देन फर्स्ट एग्जाम जब आने वाला होगा तब मैं मैं उसका तब मैं उसको आ, तब मैं आपको उसका पैटर्न भी बता दूंगा किस तरीके से फर्स्ट एग्जाम का पैटर्न रहेगा वो 50 मार्क्स का होता है और सेकेंड एग्जाम भी फिफ्टी मार्क्स का रहता है दैट विल बी टू आवर्स ड्यूरेशन तो उसके कैसे होता है उसका ब्रेकअप मैं आपको बाद में दूंगा जब से जब एग्जाम आ रहा होगा फिलहाल टू स्टार्ट विद दिस I welcome you all again and wish you all the best on this new journey of your 11th commerce with Devas Sir. So, any questions after which you have, you can definitely uh, DM me on my WhatsApp number as you will get that in WhatsApp group, right? आज से आपका पॉकेट स्टडी भी चालू हो रहा है तो पॉकेट स्टडी के लिंक अगर किसी के चालू नहीं हुए हों सो यू कैन कॉन्टेक्ट मी और मनीष सर मनीष सर जो हमारे अकाउंट्स के हैंडल करते हैं वो कॉमर्स सेक्शन में बेटर देन मी वो काफी काफी अच्छे से मैनेजमेंट करते हैं सभी चीजों का तो आप उनको भी कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हो एंड मुझे भी कॉन्टेक्ट कर सकते हो आपका पॉकेट स्टडी चालू होते ही फिर आपका व्हाट्सएप ग्रुप बंद कर दिया जाएगा सो देट वी कैन स्टार्ट दी studies very carefully right so that's all from me and now we just see of you here so milte hain fir next session mein enjoy